Training is the act of teaching a person a particular skill or a type of behaviour. We can train in technical skills, human relations skills, mentoring skills, leadership skills and a whole host of, of other skills. Training costs money, but so does an accident. The cost of an accident isn't just damage to a ship or a piece of infrastructure. It might also be the cost of injuries or loss of life and might even involve environmental damage, which is very hard to put onto a financial statement. So while training costs money, it avoids the much higher costs of an accident. And because training brings benefits, it should be seen as an investment rather than an expense. Maritime education is much more than training. Training provides skills for a job. Education provides the building blocks for a career. A solid maritime career is built on foundations that incorporate a whole range of capabilities. Many of these have been strengthened through training. I believe in training and I believe in education. I was at a conference in Copenhagen in April and at that conference I heard a plea for naval architects to find out what it is that seafarers actually do so they can design the ship around those who live and work on board. At the same conference there was an academic working in seafarer fatigue who urged charterers to think much more carefully about how the orders they provide for the master impacts upon the seafarers. The difference between training and education lies at the very heart of the key issue facing the shipping industry today. How to attract young people to seafaring and having got them, how to keep them it seems that shipping sells seafaring as if it's a job rather than the first step in a maritime career. Because we focus on jobs rather than careers, on training rather than on education, we're failing to grasp the longer term vision that our young people are striving for. This is significant. Most seafarers today come from Asian countries and when they leave the sea they go home to the Philippines, to China, to India. Very few of them will go to ship management companies, maritime law firms or ship financiers in Europe or North America. What shipping needs to do is to persuade young people in developed countries that seafaring is not necessarily a job for life any more than a period of study at university or a short-term commission in the Navy. We must see seafaring as the initial training in a lifetime of maritime education. If we do that we will build a stronger, more attractive and more profitable shipping industry.